Good morning, class. Today we are going to do a quiz. But before we are going to do a quiz, I would like to review what you have learned in chapter 10. It's about decimal. So the objective of this review and the objective of this quiz, the student will be able to express 10, 100, and 1000 as a decimal. And student also will be able to compare and order decimal. And the first part here, I'm going to explain you how to express tens as a decimal. So the first example here, we got 19 tens. And then 19 tens refer to 19 divided by 10. And 19 divided by 10, it refer to 1 whole and 9 over 10. 1 whole shaded part and 9 shaded part of 10. It means a square divided into 10 parts and we shade 9 parts of the 10 and then we got 1.9. Letter B, we got 5 divided by 10. 5 divided by 10, it means a square divided into 10 parts and we shade 5 parts and then we got 0 0.5. And letter C, we got 1 and 8 over 10 and then we get 1.38 because one whole shaded part and 8 shaded part of 10 a square divided by 10 and then we shade 8 part the second part we're gonna learn how to express hundreds as a decimal so the first example we got 11 hundreds 11 hundreds refer to 11 divided by 100 a square divided by a hundred part and then we shade 11 part and then we got 0 0.11 letter B we got 5 divided by a hundred a square divided to a hundred part and then we shade 5 part and then 5 over a hundred we express it as decimal we got 0 0.05 letter C it is one whole and eight over a hundred. One whole refer to a whole shaded part and then a square divided into a hundred part and then we shade only eight part and then we got 1.08 and now let's move on to the third part it is about how to express thousands as a decimal it's the same thing as ten hundreds thousand nineteen thousands refer to nineteen divided by a thousand nineteen divided by a thousand it means a square divided into a thousand part and then we shade nineteen part and then we got zero point zero nineteen let it be five shaded part of a thousand mean hundred sorry a square divided into a thousand and then we shade five part then we got 0 0.05 and let us see we got 1 and 8 over a thousand one whole and 8 shaded part of a thousand so we got 1.008 the fourth part we're gonna learn how to compare decimal how can we compare decimal so according to example one here which is smaller so in order to compare which one is smaller or which one is greater, we need to compare the number in one place first. So the number in one place of the first number is number one. And the num the whole num the one number in the second number it is number one as well. So we cannot decide which one is greater or smaller. And now let's move on to take a look in the number in ten place. The number in ten place in here is one. And the number in tens place in here is 1 also. Still, we cannot decide which one is greater or smaller. And let's move on to the number in hundreds place. Number in hundreds place of the first number is 3. And the number in hundreds place of the second number is 5. So now we can decide which one is greater or smaller. It is 1.134 smaller than 1.153. And now let's move on to the second example, which is greater, 2.61 or 2.76. So the same thing as example 1, you have to compare one 
place and one place and then 10 place and 10 place so 10 place in here it is number 6 10 place in the second number is 7 so meaning that 2.76 correct and the last part of our review is about ordering decimals so we're gonna learn how to arrange the decimal in increasing order and also in decreasing order so what does it mean increasing order increasing order refer to the ordering from the smallest to the greatest and decreasing order refer to the ordering from the greatest to smallest so now let's see how can we ordering it first we have to compare the number in one place so the first number is one the number in one place of the second number it is one as well and the third number number in one place are also one and the last one it all it is two so mean number two is the greatest one so we will put it in the last one and then we compare the other three here so we compare the number in tens place so this one is zero the second one is four and then zero so it means 1.4 will be in the third place and then we compare the number in hundreds place the first one is 5 and this one is 6 so when we compare it 0 1.054 is the smallest one so we got 1.054 and then 1.062 and then 1.4 and the last one is 2 and now let's move on to the second one arrange the decimal in decreasing order so we are going to compare the number in one place it is 4 4 4 we cannot decide which one is greater or smaller now let's move to compare the number in 10 place 3 4 3 so meaning that this is the greatest one and then we compare the number in hundreds play 1 1 still we cannot decide which one is greater or smaller so we have to compare 8 and 5 that is in thousand place so 8 and 5 it is 8 greater than 5 so the second number is 4.318 and the last one will be 4.35 sorry 4.305 thank you for your attention and if you have question you can leave it below and your teacher gonna answer your question and after this we gonna do a quiz about 25 minutes